CA Hoops Weekly presented by Under Armour here at the Convocation Center. I'm Bobby Broyles along with Zora Stevenson, and it was a busy day, Zora, Very indeed. Very busy day. Well, the top four seeds did advance today. Let's take a look at some of the action. The regular season champs, they looked like the regular season champs today. Yeah, they started off a little sloppy, but that's what happens when you don't play for a week or so. No. When I think of that first game, I think of Essence Bauckham. The point guard went three for three from the mm -hmm. three-point line. If you know anything about Essence, you know that is uncharacteristic for her. So great night for Essence and the Lady Phoenix. Yes, the Lady Phoenix move on, and they will take on the William & Mary Tribe, a historic win for them. It's been a long time since they've been in this situation. 2001, I believe, to be exact. They're heading to the semifinals with a win over Delaware. Well, they've had the best season in school history, so hopefully yep. they can keep it going. Tomorrow, you talked about yesterday, that 4-5 or five matchup was yes. going to be close, and it delivered just that. When I think of that William & Mary game, I think of Marlena Tremba. Yes. She was on fire she from was. beyond the arc. And then on to the evening session, Jamie with a historic defensive performance as they knock off UNCW. Great defensive performance, and also when I think of that game, I think of a team effort. Precious yes. Hall was in foul trouble early, and she necessarily wasn't hitting all the shots she normally hits. So other people had to step up at the end of the game. She said, hey, that's what I like to see, other people stepping up. JMU, the host team, advances to tomorrow night's semifinal. And then we wrap up with Drexel as they knock off Northeastern, and what a show Megan Creighton put on tonight. Two words, beautiful basketball. Yep. I mean, Megan Creighton and that entire team, they shot lights out, they played together, they mm -hmm. passed the ball around. All around, great game for the Drexel Dragons. The final four field is set, 4.30 and 7 o'clock tomorrow on Comcast Sportsnet and simulcast on CA.TV. Let's take a look at that first matchup, Elon taking on William & Mary. This could be an interesting game. William & Mary likes to slow things down, they mm -hmm. like to pass it around. Elon, they like to do the transition game and then they'll slow it down if it makes sense. So. You never know who's going to get hot with Elon, and if Marlena Trumba has another game like she did today, could have a tough matchup. And then the nightcap, it will be the host, the JMU Dukes. It will probably be very loud in here and packed <laughs> on a Friday night. <laughs> will they will be. take on Drexel. We've seen this pairing quite a bit over the years. Yeah, Drexel played a great game today, but it's a whole different ball game when you've got JMU's mm -hmm. band, you've got their fans are on their home court. Yep. So I think that's another atmosphere in itself. Denise said one thing. She said, fight. Yep. Her team she has did. to fight. Absolutely. So once again, 4.30 and 7 o'clock tomorrow on Comcast Sportsnet and simulcast live on CA.TV. Me and Zora will be back tomorrow night as we will recap the semifinals and get you ready for the championship on Saturday night. See you then.